I'm here and I start to go forward, it's gonna break, but he starts to build his ass, build your ass up. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. So I tend to go more 45. See all that weight, try to build up. So you can feel, see that? And now as I bring my leg forward, I'm coming in at that angle to stop the forward roll. So one more time on the breakdown. Yeah, we'll just do basic triangle, let's say. So boom, I, I, stuff, I throw in a triangle and the guy brings the arm back and I, nowadays especially, I'm, I'm terribly like, my knees, my knees, I don't like triangles at all anymore. When I was younger, I, I loved them a lot more, but I, I struggle a lot in my personal feeling as I'm getting older with my knees. My knees don't like this movement at all. I, I've got some tears and stuff. So I prefer the omoplata. And when I was young, I thought the omoplata was a flexible move. And it's not at all. It actually requires very little. So I wanna, I wanna get some distance right here, push his face and bring my foot. And this is the part where people think the omoplata is flexibility. But you don't wanna rubber guard and pull your knee like this at all, ideally. An ideal omoplata is sideways and like this. See the way my leg went over? So it's, I'm in the most natural position. This is where we really wanna be. Now, somebody could crawl and walk around me. So start to just take your right leg and walk around me. Yeah, just walk over my head. And if you walk over my head, you'll end up in side control like this. You see that? So now just put your hand back in through and then walk back around, rewind the video. So when he's here like this, and I am on my side, it has a drawback, right? It, it made it really easy for my leg to pass over his face, but now I've got to contend with this guy walking over my body. So at this moment, this hand right here, I immediately, I'm raising the arm and my right elbow, I'm opening to get up on my elbow hand as I'm coming up like this. So if he starts to walk around my body, which he, he might take a high step like that, go ahead and try. You see, I'm, I'm stopping that with my arm. He also might try a knee on stomach. So he might try like a, a version like this where he drives his knee through like that. So I'll grab his knee, go ahead, try to put it towards the mat, I'll post and throw that thing off. And now as he attempts maybe a more dynamic, I don't know if you can cartwheel, but I'm gonna stop you anyway. If you can try, yeah, let's see, there's no cartwheel anymore. If he beats you with the cartwheel, we'll talk about it, but later. So now I'm grabbing. And then again, notice my feet are still in the forward position. We want to transition them back towards behind me. So that's my next job, my next goal. If this guy tries to, you know, be strong and lift, I, I'm like making him carry my weight. I may go to the straight position with my legs where I'm squeezing my thighs to wear him out. And once I get his shoulder down and I can take my feet back this way, immediately my butt has to raise and I have to make him carry my weight. I wanna to get to that point as soon as possible. There, now once I've, you notice the hand, sometimes will stay locked in here. Sometimes it will pop out. If it pops out, uh, two lanky guys, they'll have it trapped in here all day long. Uh, uh, short stubby ear guys, their hand will start to come out. I'm, again, I'm, the way I'm built, sometimes you notice my legs are very open. I don't mind it. I don't think you don't have to lock all that much. I lock to make a guy carry my weight. So if you lift it again, see? But the moment that I make the move, I want my legs open because I want to be mobile. I want to learn how to hold his arm with one leg. And then if I need an assistance with my hand, I will use it, okay? But I got to get this leg behind me. Now my, I'm on the ball of my foot. He's carrying my weight. His next goal, he starts to feel, he can't lift me anymore, right? Because I'll just like come up. See, I'm applying the force. So you'll have to forward roll. So I want to stop the forward roll. I can put my foot here and try to stop it, right? And I could try to submit him right now. But in order to learn the breakdown that I do, I don't move to the right. I move backward in a circle. So I take my foot and I move back. And then I'm going to drag my left foot and move back. And move my right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. And that's how I break this guy. While I'm making him carry my weight. Left hand's looking to here. I make sure that this now takes a bite so it's strong. And now I can hold his wrist and I can lock here. If you guys like, especially the longer guys, you can go over. So you can go, seatbelt is good for control, but over is better for submission. 
If you go over, you've got variations. This is more like neck crank, okay? Combined with the shoulder, you can put this one around like a bulldog and get a choke um, combined with the shoulder lock. So, but this is the angle that I like to attack it. Try to not have a habit. Everybody's nice, they put their hands on the mat. Don't do this. Get rid of it. Stop putting your hands on the mat. Okay, you always have to grab the guy. So if I'm not grabbing anything, I'm just gonna leave my hands like this, like relaxed. You know, I just wanna make him carry my weight. Lock the far shoulder, go to the wrist control, coming over, locking here, locking the seatbelt. Okay, all of this is great for finishing. Okay, now I'm gonna let my partner roll, and this is how you combine it in a drill. Don't roll to side control for you. You're gonna roll to guard. So I'm gonna let you start to build up now because I already tapped you. You're gonna start to build up, right? And then now when you start to roll, think about this, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be between your legs. All right. So this leg is All right. gonna stay connected to my, my rib cage right here. All right. And then this leg is gonna All spiral right. around and put me right into the guard. Right. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead, roll. Beautiful. Nice. And that's how we wanna defend the omoplata when we roll. When, you, when you're new, you're just taught to roll to get your shoulder out, but you can't just do that. That's just, it's good, it's a bare minimum, but let's learn a little bit better. Let's roll, but also replace guard at the same time. What you'll also find is you'll, you'll get triangles, like, mm -hmm. like as you roll. Yeah. So when this leg was over here, and you were rolling out, when you come back, you'll end up catching the neck, and you'll all fall into a triangle. So that will happen a lot, you know, Again, not at the highest le of levels, but it will happen. So, last time. So, if you guys get a triangle, just starting out with triangle, we're not doing initial omoplata. Say I'm stuffing triangle, boom, I slap him across the neck, I lock a triangle. But maybe the guy's posturing and I can't, you know, I can't make my triangle work. Or in my case, my knees won't handle triangles. I, I just, the, the, I'm popping my knees constantly, playing around with it. Look, I wanna swim this on, get it trapped in the hip. See how I did that? You guys could also be trying to turn palm up to an arm bar and he'll just put it over there. I can't, maybe I can't get a Kimura, which would be a more direct submission than the Omoplata, but he's hiding, maybe he's locking or something like that. I'm gonna push his face and you notice again, my leg is not going towards like this. I'm not trying to make a big hole that he can pull his arm out, you know, put your arm out. Yeah, I don't want that. So when I'm here, I'm like this angle of my hip it makes it tight, so if you try to like pull your arm out, you see that? And now, as he tries to lift his body up, it's, it's heavy. I'm just gonna be grabbing onto to his body right here. And then if he tried to step over me, I'm not gonna allow it. I'm posting up on my hand. As I come in, I get the waist. Next is make him carry your weight. Stand up, holding, securing. Right now it's trapped by my rib cage and my stomach which is ideal, because that means I can lock far side. I don't need this guy to be here. But if I ever feel that Tommy, you feel how tight that one is? Yeah. If I ever feel that Tommy's about to get his hand out, I'll release this hold. Put your hand out. Oh. I'll release the hold and then I'll grab his wrist. And then again, how I do the breakdown. He's carrying all my weight. Can you forward roll right now? This is really hard, right? Yeah. Okay, now watch. I move one, two, Three, and now I've got him down on his bad hip. I cup the shoulder, and then I go 45 degrees. Maybe I'm gonna lock him up and finish. Again, guys, when, when I first learned the breakdown, it was done more or less like this, and this is how I'm gonna end. Go ahead and get up on your knees. It was like you would get the guy here, and then you would kind of scoot, scoot, and the guy would fall. But I've never seen that happen in a match ever in my life. No competitive grapplers ever fall down like that. Okay, you have to learn how to make them carry your weight. The guy builds up, when the guy builds up, I make him carry my weight as I'm dragging him. See what I'm doing to arm? And then I cut and then finish. And then how do you recover the guard? Go ahead, I'll let him roll. He's gonna roll to guard. Oh, I got oh, triangle! I got oh. triangle! I got triangle! Good job. All right. Let's go to work, boys. One, two, three. Teach me grappling.